No stay friends, it's a lovely brand new day, and oh, all these wooden posts are done. Oh, that's not good. Well, we're just gonna recycle what we can, because recycling is important, guys. We should recycle. And I'm just gonna get rid of all these posts, because we don't really need them anymore. And we're gonna keep what we can. Oh, look at that. It's a lovely green bean. Let's just throw that in there. And we're almost done trimming down things. Oh, we just knocked that one into the water. Ooh, splashy McSplashy. Okay, and now we need a new wall. So we're going to build an even bigger wall. Except this time, we're going to build a wall out of stone. Oh yeah. I can feel the love now. So remember, you can only build gates out of wood. So we're going to keep our gates. So let's put a gate down here. As we had before. We'll put a gate down here as well. That's lovely. Uh, we might need another gate here. Let's get a gate here and we're gonna have to craft a few more gates. <gasps> I don't have any wood on me. Oh boy. This is a big issue. Let's go grab some wood from the stockpile here and we're gonna go ahead and build some more gates. So I think about three will do. Three gates. Okay. So, we're going to have to put a gate down in the southern regions here. And that means we're going to have to choppy choppy down this tree here. Goodbye, tree. You were never fully big anyway. And let's put a gate over on this side over here as well. Let's put two gates here. Let's have a little bit of fun today, shall we? <laughs> Alright. And there we go. We have the gates. Now, let's start laying down the brick. Oh, yeah. We are mean bricklayers, that's what we are. Just laying down all that brick. We're gonna create a, a wall that won't deteriorate like the other wooden one did. Okay. And now we have a very nice brick wall here. And we can make better use of our scarecrows by moving them around a bit. Oh, ran out of wall there. Well, let's add another 20 or so stone. That's good news. All right. Now we're just going to continue that wall, and that is now complete. Hey, let's go through this little gate. Let's close it behind us, of course. Don't want anyone coming in. And we're going to finish up this wall, just laying those bricks down. This is just so much fun, guys. Thank you guys for coming, by the way. It always gets kind of boring when I'm alone. And we're going to wrap around here and up here. Ross, and there we go. And this time around, I'm going to leave this bit open here because I want to be able to get some water. But let's put another little brick wall at the bottom right here. Yeah, that's a lot of fun, guys. That is so much fun. Okay, well, the remainder of this brick wall can be brought here for possibly when we expand this. But right now, this is the most of the farm we're going to build here. And oh, we have some parsnips today, people. Yay! Parsnips! Well, I'm so excited about parsnips. Look how many parsnips I have to harvest. Oh, you know, it's always good to make a little bit of money with some hard-earned work. Is that a potato? Potato! And we got a bonus potato! That is so great, guys. Okay. So, next thing we're going to do is we're going to smelt some floor burrs so we can build things out of metal. Yeah! Now, the first thing we need to do is get to level 1. Now, currently, I am not level one. I am here. I need to be here. And that's going to require me to break a lot of rocks and possibly sell some of the things that I get. So we just have to find some rocks. Any rocks at all? Get in my way. Ah, oh, there's a rock. Excellent. Pickety pickety peck. There we go. And we just have to do that a bajillion times. Let's get going to this. La 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 la. Oh, this is so much fun. I feel like a really manly man today, just smashing all these rocks. Ooh. Maybe a latte after this would be great. Okay. And now we're going to just fast forward a little bit. Yeah. Okay, guys. So we've got step two. Get our mining leveled up. And we did that by selling off this beautiful limestone here for a total of 15 G's. Boy, that was exciting. And now we go on to stage three, which is randomly be visited by the miner. 
and let's see if the blacksmith will visit us today. Oh, this could be a long journey. Oh, look, it's your good friend Clint, the, bar the blacksmith. Uh, hi there, good morning. Hey, he noticed! He noticed that we were breaking rocks open! Oh, boy. It's gonna give us a plan for a furnace. Okay. Now. Let's get that furnace down. Now, let's see what that furnace is gonna cost us to build. Let's see. Basic retainer. Where's our furnace at? Here it is. 20 copper ore and 25 stone. Holy smokes, that is a lot of copper ore. Okay, well this is a good time to head towards the mine. Now, we're not going to find enough of what we need over here, so let's head towards the mine. Wait, you don't know where the mine is? Follow me! Tra la 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 la. Oh, how I love being out in the wilderness. It's so much fun. You know, you get to see nature and beauty and all the glory that was made without humans dirtying it up with our excess industry and, and disgustiness. So happy to get out of the city and get out into the country where we can do some completely rural people things like drink a brew in and mine. Definitely mine. There's lots of mining that happens in rural areas. All right, here we go. The mine. Now, of course, if you're going to go into the mine, make sure to have your trusty sword. If you don't have one, don't worry, they'll give you one. Everyone gets a trusty sword. Alright guys, let's break open some rocks. Oh god, this is going to be so much fun. Yeah, rock breaking. This is my favorite thing to do. Oh yeah, this is kind of boring actually. Well, see if we can make this go a little bit faster then, shall we? Oh, he's coming right at me. Gotta defend myself. Take that, foul beast. I have the mighty rusty sword, and I mean business, and I don't want to hurt you, but I have to defend myself, because this is self-defense and you're a, a life form and stuff. Whenever you're mining, you find these rocks with funny colors on them, definitely hit these guys, because they have a guaranteed chance of dropping copper ore. It's pretty awesome, guys. Yeah. Okay, now the moment of truth. We're going to lay down a smelter. Yay, a smelter. This is going to be awesome, guys, and it's going to be a... Outdoor smelter, that's so much fun. Okay, now what do we do? Okay, so I'm putting some uh, some some copper ore in there. I'm going to lay a little bit of coal in there with it. No? Okay. Well, we'll just wait on it to actually uh, ignite a bit. There we go. Now it's, it says something. Yeah, we got our first copper burr. That's awesome, guys. All right, let's go ahead and smelt another one. And it automatically took a coal from me. This is very exciting, but five coal ore to smelt one bar is a little bit ridiculous. I mean, isn't there a more environmentally sound way of doing this than, than using dirty old coal? I don't know, but I'd like to find out. Just the thought of smelting copper ore was the most valuable experience I ever had. 